Hello Gemini, welcome to your November 2020 reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Gemini, let's take a look at your cards. You know, it's interesting because uh, I'm getting uh, opposites here. I've got you as the King of Pentacles, but feel free to switch out the energies, it can be reversed. I also have a Queen of Cups energy. Now, the King of Pentacles, it's a very earth-based energy. It's someone who doesn't really swim in the ocean of emotions. The Queen of Cups, however, is more of a transparent energy. It's more of a, a watery energy. It feels to me like going with the flow. Uh, the jellyfish, because it doesn't have a brain or eyes, it senses. So I feel like it's more of an intuitive energy around the Queen of Cups sensing, spending all, all, all of the time in water. So it tells me this is about going with the flow, having faith, trust, very empathic, very intuitive energy. That's one person. I feel that the other person here is more of a, uh, let's just say, an earth-based energy. So you could be dealing with an earth sign, or you could be dealing with this more watery energy. Now, the Emperor with the King of Pentacles, both of these speak to me about feeling very secure, feeling very bound to something. There's a lot of rigidity that I'm sensing around these cards, not a lot of flexibility. The jellyfish is a flexible creature. So I feel that if you're, depending on how you identify here, guys, if you're this Queen of Cups energy, if you're more of a loving energy, a compassionate, caring energy, and you're meeting this more rigid kind of energy around you, I do feel that there's an, a real need to be very mindful of perhaps getting too involved with something or someone that feels to me like it is more of a my way or the highway kind of energy. But let's see where this goes, guys. I'm going to be doing this kind of free flow. And of course, as I said, the energies can switch out. If you're cross-watching for a Gemini, this may resonate as a Gemini that you're dealing with. But let's get a card from the Twin Tarot Oracle and uh, see what the focus is here. What is the focus for this reading for Gemini, please, for the month of November? The focus, okay. Temperance, okay. Again, I get this more watery kind of energy here. A need to go with the flow, Gemini, versus this rigidity, someone who is very I feel like I'm talking about two different people here, guys. I feel one person's very laser focused. They have this end goal in sight and they can't deviate once they're on this path. I also get there's another energy here that is more go with the flow, more easygoing, uh, very strong empathic energy, just seeing where life takes you. The other is more I have to have things happen in a certain way and this is the way it needs to happen and if it doesn't happen that way then I'm lost. It, it feels like the two different energies here. Yeah, now temperance with the jellyfish and this queen of cups, it, it's a wonderful spiritual angelic healing energy. Uh, just looking at jellyfish actually, if you ever go to an aquarium and, and watch the jellies, it's very peaceful. It, it feels very spiritual even, just watching that such a creature exists. That's a radiance here. Uh, I also get a very strong uh, psychic energy around these cards as well with, with temperance. So, uh, yeah, a, a strong energy around this of needing to go with the flow, having patience, whereas I get a more structured kind of energy around the other person. Let's see what else we can come up with here. We'll have a look at the advice cards for Gemini. 
Advice for Gemini here, please, Spirit Guides, for November. The Angel of Addiction Healing, a time of positive transformation and healing. Okay, so you may be healing this person. Uh, I, I get a message here from Spirit Guides. You're questioning. I feel that you're questioning whether you're healing this person or whether this person can be healed. I get an energy here of are you are you being used I'm sorry to say or are you or is this person really appreciative of your healing nature interesting so let's have a look here guys I feel like somebody I feel it's it's this energy that is, I get it, some toxicity around this person, guys. I feel like they they are going through a transformation. You are helping them heal, but at the same time, I feel like there's there's elements of rigidity around this person. Meaning, can they fully transform? Can they heal, or is just is this just who they are, and that there needs to be an acceptance of that? Or are they really are they really changing are they really maturing let's see guys uh, we'll have a look at the uh, cosmic cat wisdom what should the focus for Gemini be for the month of November what should Gemini's focus be please for guys for the month of November what should Gemini's focus be spirit guides for the month frisky Ooh goodness okay time to play yeah you know it feels like you've entered into some kind of relationship here with someone who's going through a difficult a difficult time I feel like there's something that they need to sort out for some it, it is a an addiction to something for others it's it's an addiction that perhaps you're not even aware of this person could be addictive to certain types of uh, relationships. They may be addicted to attention. Uh, they could be addicted to, well, anything really. But but I feel, I feel like it's there's a very there's this very strong sexual energy between the two of you. Playful spirit, fun, but. I'm not sure if it is any anything more than that, guys, at the present time. I think you are helping them heal by being playful, experiencing happiness, joy. But I, I get an element here, guys, of the, for those of you who may be expecting more than that, just to temper that. You know, temperance, right? Temper that. Temper expectations around this particular person. Because I do feel that they look stable. They look secure. They look mature. But this card of addiction healing tells me that this person has something there. Possibly more than one thing. That you may not be aware of. Now, you have this very strong, loving, supportive, caring, compassionate energy. Someone like this, who does have addictions, is attracted to that healer. So just be a little bit mindful of being too involved or them taking too much of your energy here, Gemini. Keep it playful, Spirit Guide is saying. Keep it playful, keep it on the level of fun but temper the expectations around this particular person now let's let's get uh, let's get the energy of this person so let's see what is the energy around the person that gemini is dealing with spirit guides the energy of the person that gemini is dealing with what is the energy okay we've got two cards in the reverse we've got yin yang and we also have the sixth chakra Archangel Metatron. 
Okay, so let's take a look at that. We'll take a look at uh, uh, yin yang firstly. Now, when it's reversed, it, it's talking about the yang cycle, and it's one of active, more outgoing energy, a more action oriented. Uh, this cycle can mean beginning fresh, beginning a new cycle in life, a new beginning. Uh, sometimes with significant uh, outer change. Yeah, more forceful. I, I feel like this person here is trying to be more forceful, uh, more act more active. I get they may have been a little bit more passive in the past, a bit more res yin energy. And, but now I get that more um, of a take charge energy around this particular person. Now with uh, the Archangel um, Metatron there, when that one's in reversed, it is about the need to to get transparency, to be clear. There's a lot of confusion around this person, very unclear, distorted thinking, uh, mental chaos. So I feel like this is someone who uh, lacks personal direction. Uh, they may be lacking perspective at the moment, uh, unsure of their intentions. Now they are trying to break free of some old patterns, you know, they, we have that addiction healing, some kind of old toxic pattern that they were in. Uh, I do get this energy of this person being somewhat of a warrior. I also get uh, self-criticism and they're being asked to get a clearer, healthier vision of themselves and then decide what to what to do. So this person is uh, trying to take action on clearing up some old energies that have been lurking around them for a long time here, Gemini. I feel like this person was very self-critical in the past, more of a receptive energy. Uh, they took a lot in and didn't express a lot. I feel like now they're taking direct action and I feel like they're coming across as quite different than they were in the past. I do get a strong outward change but I'm wondering if there's enough inner change. I feel like what needs to change is on the inside not on the exterior. So they may be doing a lot on the exterior that looks like change but it, it's more superficial, that's what I'm getting from spirit. This person again may be trying to appear more mature perhaps than they have in the past. Uh, they may be uh, trying to appear more uh, in control, more of a take charge, take action kind of person than they were in the past. So I get that they're just kind of feeling their way through I get feeling their way through making these changes in their life. So they're, they're, they're very shaky at the moment. There's not a strong foundation around them. And I don't feel that they're being transparent. I feel that you are here, Gemini, because I've got you here as this jellyfish. And jellyfish, of course, you can see right through them. You can see everything in the jellyfish. So there's transparency here. And there's a, there's a beautiful glow, I get beauty here, I get uh, very strong healing energy, heal, helping this person heal. But again, are you giving too much to this person? Hmm, that's what I'm picking up, guys. So let's see, I'm going to pull out some, uh, going to pull out some tarot. And uh, let's see, I've already meditated on your energy, but I'll do a few more shuffles here, guys. I've got the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse at the bottom of the deck with Judgment. Yeah, so it is all about, I feel, I get that they need to learn who they are. There's, I'm not getting a strong sense of aware, self-awareness around this person. I feel like their self-awareness has been in the past more tied up with 
relationships, uh, getting uh, more from other people rather than from within. And I feel that this person is being called to, to work on that aspect of themselves. They're actually being called to do more independent work on themselves rather than have it done through another Gemini. Yeah, I feel like this person may be trying to avoid doing that work by perhaps having another do it for them. Uh, that could be you. Uh, so just be a little bit mindful of that, uh, Gemini. Yeah, the two of wands in the reverse, there's a lot of fear around this person. Fear of uh, failure. Uh, they're uncertain of their, their path ahead. There's a lot of indecision, a lot of confusion. And we also have the seven of wands in reverse. And they, I feel like they, they're almost like uh, they've backed themselves into into a position in life here where they where they're likely to be like the I'm likening it to a, a cornered animal this person's very scared underneath it all they're not showing it on the surface I feel like they're trying to appear confident yes this yang energy they're trying to appear confident but in internally I feel that this person's actually very scared scared of failure, scared of rejection, scared of a lot of things. Remember, I, I picked them up as being very self-critical. So I feel like this person, if they feel like they are, if they become too scared here or too frightened, they may react like a cornered animal, like they're being attacked, and they may become, I don't know, I, I get that kind of energy of, uh, either trying to escape, to run, or, or attack mode. Mm, that's interesting. Eight of Cups in reverse. See, yeah, this person is, uh, I get, they go around and around and around. Uh, there's a, a cycle around this person, this cycle of addiction. I feel like they're, they're trying to get out of it. They're trying to find their way out of this maze. But they, they're still in it at the moment. They're still lost. This is someone who's very lost, Gemini. So let's see the energy around this, guys. <coughs> we have the uh, the Empress in reverse. Uh, I don't feel that they're looking at this as something that is long term, guys. I do feel that you're looking at this person as possibly someone who can be uh, someone that you'd like to settle down with, mm. prosperous that mature stable like spouse or committed partner but i feel that this person is really just uncertain of their path ahead and so they're thinking of it as more of a play energy is what i'm getting yeah we've got the emperor and the empress but they're both in the reverse guys so uh, uh, there's a lack of maturity here a lack of uh, I also get a, a lack of fertility in this relationship, meaning it has it has an end date, is what Spirit is saying. This has a use-by date. This friskiness, this playful energy. If these were in the upright, it would be man and wife, committed partners. It would be till death do us part growing into old age all of that kind of energy having an abundant life being able to support and uh, and uh, provide for each other it's the divine masculine feminine but when it's in reverse it tells me that the energy between the two of you here the needs the needs are completely different yeah i also get an energy around this person of someone who is at the at the present time i really don't think that they're thinking about other people i get them more on their own path thinking about their own needs and you're providing something to them this healing energy 
but they're not giving that back to you in, in uh, reciprocity okay now the four of swords healing energy uh, I feel like this person likes that aspect they like that you give them this healing they like that you give them that comfortable place that soft place to land I get more of a uh, transition kind of energy and uh, the ten of swords in reverse yeah I, I do feel that this is they're going through a very powerful ending in their life something that's coming to a close again I get uh, healing recovery recovery from an addiction recovery from addictive relationships yeah goodness but they're not looking for a relationship they're looking to get out of relationships but the, it, it's weird because they're I feel that they're they're being very playful with you fun and games but this person is not looking at a relationship but I feel that you may be Gemini yeah it's happening very quickly as well the two of you getting together I get uh, one of you here reached out to the other and the other responded very quickly healing energy possibly someone got out of a uh, relationship there was contact and someone raced in here to help the other queen of swords that's you it may have been you it may have been you that came in here yeah I get you're the stronger one here Gemini that's clear I get that the good thing that I see around this is that I don't feel uh, you, you have gone in to help this person but at the same time I feel Gemini you're not the type of person that's going to stick around if you feel or if you find out information that you know isn't serving you so I get you finding the truth finding out information you've come in here you want to know what this is I think that you do want to help this person but on some level here I get you rising above your feelings for this person and instead I get you being a little bit more detached from this not getting involved and I think that's exactly the way that you need to be you know uh, if you're having fun with this person that's fine and I think you know that I think you know that if you keep this playful if you keep this fun if you don't get your emotions into it it seems it seems it seems fine let's see yeah eight of swords yeah it's funny Gemini I think that you know this person here they seem to be hmm, interesting Let's look at the yeah okay I get you as someone here uh, a Gemini I've got the nine of wands in reverse here as well <sighs> yeah I get you as incredibly strong I get you as someone who has this already this barrier around yourself so I don't feel that you're going to be hurt by this person Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, Gemma. I just think that you, you, you're more curious than anything. I think you've come in here trying to find out what's going on with this person. You're trying to find out why this person's contacted you. I actually don't think that you, you're wanting to get that involved. 
Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. You know, it may be the perfect uh, relationship at the present time, but because I don't think that you're you, you're going to be get that involved with it with your heart. You know, we've got the Queen of Cups here, so there's healing, and but there's this temperance energy as well. So I don't think you're going to go overboard with that. You're going to keep it playful. You're not going to go overboard with this. I don't feel like you're going to get your heart involved. I think you just recognize that this person just needs someone around them at the moment but again I get that you see this for what it is and, and you're not looking you're not looking to lower your boundaries here I think that would be the danger is if you if you if you lowered your boundaries and you let this person in because you know that the uh, there's someone who go, is going through something quite difficult at the moment and that they're not ready for a relationship here, uh, Gemini. Hmm, that's the way that I'm feeling. So let's see your energy towards this person and then we'll go to the extended guys. So if this one's resonating with you, <laughs> it's, it's kind of a weird energy that I'm picking up around this, but, but let's take a look. If this one's resonating, feel free to join me in the extended. The link is down below in the descriptions box. It'll be about another 30 minute reading. I'll be looking at, uh, at the other person, future energy, and also some more oracles for guidance as well. So if you're interested and this is your story, please feel free to join me in the extended. Again, the link is down below. If you prefer a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, or you can look at, the, uh, at my new Etsy shop, and the link for that is below as well. And there you can purchase the, the readings as well directly. Please like, share and subscribe if you're a newcomer. I'd love to have you. And don't forget to check out my new channel memberships. You can join me as a supporter or you can level up and get early access and get all readings at the same time. So if you're interested, you can click on the join button and you can join my uh, band of gypsies. Please join us. We're a growing band. So let's have a look here, guys. So Gemini, what is your energy towards this person? What is Gemini's energy towards this person? Carmela. That's interesting, isn't it, for November? I'm thinking of Carmela Harris. She who emerges. Enlightenment, mindfulness, rising up. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I just get you as someone here who is above this. I don't think whatever this person is trying to uh, get you involved in their life, I, I just see you as being more of a detached energy, to be honest with you. Mm. Yeah, I feel like this person is uh, trying to be this stronger individual. I actually feel that you're a lot stronger than them. They have this kind of soft, gooey center this jellyfish center you have that too but but i feel that yours is a lot more uh, natural meaning that you're in control of that you're in control of your emotions you're in control of that more watery aspect and so you don't get too involved i feel like this person actually is more likely to get involved mm. But they're trying to appear like this this more masculine yang energy but I actually feel that it's quite the opposite I actually feel that the the masculine energy is more with you Gemini whether you're male or female it doesn't matter it feels like more of the yang energy is with you more of the yin energy is the other person I get them as more of the softer underbelly you as the stronger person here Gemini yeah mindfulness rising up yeah uh, that lotus that grows from the mud it, it feels it feels beautiful it feels like growth it feels like you've really risen risen above risen above and i don't think you're going to get too involved with this person i think that you're going to be there but again i get that you're not going to really take on board this person's stuff 
as your own. You're not going to let that drain you. Instead, there's more of an energy here of, I get it as being, as being there but not being too there if that makes any sense like I'm not getting any sense of clinginess or codependency here I just get a strength I get, I get a strength here a strength a friskiness a playful energy about keeping your emotions out of it and it seems to be certainly serving you with this particular relationship so let's see where this goes in the extended guys I hope that you join me again the link is down below in the descriptions box Thanks again for watching Gemini, please take care, love you guys and bye for now.